Hey everyone, this is Michelle Goldstein and you're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga and please continue to like, share, and comment on the videos. Let us know what you're learning in your practice these days. It's really inspiring everyone else in the community and we're really all in this together as yogis. You can also find us on Instagram, you can find us on Facebook and if you feel moved to donate, you can certainly do that. We gratefully and graciously accept any contributions at heartalchemyyoga.com. We're filming today at Home Yoga in Costa Mesa, California, and we love this little spot. It's super sweet. It's beautiful in here. Great vibes and amazing teachers. If you're ever in the area, please stop by. Um, it's, a, it's a really great spot worth checking out. Today, I'm going to teach a flow just with a a sequence that I've been working, that I've been doing kind of, I've been into a lot at home. So there's some core work in here. I hope that you're excited. I think that we all need some more core. Uh, let's get started. Come to child's pose. Deepen your breath. Maybe take a moment to acknowledge where you're at in your practice. What a gift. And when you're ready, you'll come up to all fours, hands and knees. Let's do some cats and cows to warm up. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale as you hug the belly in. Feel the navel pull in. Tuck the chin. Again, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round in, belly in, chin to chest. A few more. Inhale. Arch your back. Exhale, round into cat pose. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round in. Good. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale to plank position, upper push up. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, pull back, downward dog pose. Still breathing. As you do, right? Step the right foot up to the front of your mat. And then step the left foot up to the front of your mat. Feet hips apart. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Rise up to stand up. Inhale. And fold in half on the exhale. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, step the left foot straight back behind you. Beautiful. Spin your left heel flat and come up to warrior two pose. And turn the palms up today. Soften the shoulders. Lay, lay your torso over your right thigh. Sweep the arms back behind you. Good. With the breath, inhale, come up to crescent pose. Exhale, arms sweep back behind you. And one more time, 
Inhale, come up to crescent. And exhale, torso over the right thigh, arms sweep back behind you. Shoulder heads retract, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step to plank, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. And then use the core to take it back to down dog. Good, let's step the left foot up to the front of your space. And then step the right foot up to meet the left. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise up to stand up, inhale. Fold forward on the exhale. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot steps straight back behind you. Let's come up to crescent pose. Keep the core strong, which includes lift the front of the pelvis, pubic bone and frontal hip points lift, lower floating ribs hug in. From center, inhale here. Exhale, arms sweep back behind you, torso lays over the left thigh. Inhale, back at crescent pose. Exhale, arms sweep back behind you. One more time like that. Inhale, come on up to crescent. Exhale, torso lays over the left thigh. Arms reach back behind you. Hands to the mat, step to plank. And lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale the heels up. Exhale, look forward. Walk or hop the feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Chair pose. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps up to the front of your mat. Spin the back heel flat. Come up, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step to plank and lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Left side, step through. Come up, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, release to plank. Lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. When you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Utkatasana, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. Right foot steps through, back heel to the ground. Come on up, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, let it go, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back, left side, step through. Come up, warrior one. Inhale. And exhale, release, vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale back. Deeply breathing, deeply breathing.
And again, feet to the front of your mat. We'll just do two more rounds of these. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back, right side, step through, warrior one, come up, inhale, and exhale, release. Left side, step through, come up, warrior one, inhale, and exhale, let it go. All right, you guys, one more time. Bring your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, right side, step through. Come up, warrior one, inhale, exhale, release, let it go. Inhale up and exhale back, left side, step through, warrior one, inhale, and exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart, pull it back, down dog. All right, let's lift the right leg up, inhale. And as you exhale, bring the right knee into your chest, shift forward to plank. Inhale back, right leg lifts up. Exhale, shift forward, hug the right knee in. One more time, lift that right leg, inhale. Exhale, hug the right knee into your chest. Set the right foot down at your front of, at the front of your mat. Spin the back heel flat. Come up, warrior one pose. And open up to warrior two. And today, let's take the eagle wrap with warrior two. Sink the hips. Slide the shoulders down the back. Feel the forearms hug together. You can turn your gaze maybe over the right shoulder and then turn the gaze over the left shoulder. Good, and then release the arms. Again, look over the right shoulder for a breath. All right, hands down to the front of your mat. Come up on the back toes, step up to standing split. Flex the left foot, lengthen your spine. Grab blocks if they help you. Breathe. Beautiful, one more breath here. And we'll step back to warrior one, plant that left foot, float the arms down the ribs, just like we started. Feel the shoulder blades come together now, interlace fingers behind the back and fold into humble warrior. Release your neck, keep a micro bend in your elbows. Right hip hugs into the midline. Good, release the hands down. Step back to plank pose, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale back, downward dog. All right, left leg lifts, inhale. 
Exhale, hug the left knee into your chest. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, left knee hugs in. One more time, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, left knee to the chest. Set the left foot down at the front of your mat, back heel flat, warrior one, inhale. And open up to warrior two on your exhale. All right, we'll take right arm under, left for eagle wrap. And turn your gaze over your left shoulder. And turn the gaze over the right shoulder. Beautiful. And then release the arms back to center. Re look over the left middle finger. One more inhale. And exhale, hands to the ground. Come up on the back toes. Step up to standing split. Give your quads a little flex. Breathe. And you'll step the right foot straight back behind you. Plant that right foot, hug the left hip into center, arms down the ribs, engage the core, fingers interlace and fold into humble warrior. Tuck the chin, soften your jaw, soften your brow. If you want to engage something, Engage those inner legs. <clears throat> However, don't force it. Keep them soft enough that energy can flow. One more breath. All right, hands to the mat. Come up on the back toes, step to plank and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, back down dog. All right, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Rise up to stand up, inhale. Palms meet at the heart on the exhale. All right, let's come directly into half moon from standing. Extend the left leg back, right fingertips reach down to the ground or a block. Left arm to the sky, feet flex. Beautiful. All right, let's step back to warrior two with that left foot. Straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in, left foot turns out, bend the left knee, warrior two to side angle. We are coming into side angle. Beautiful, come back up, warrior two. And then we'll straighten the left leg, turn the left foot in, right foot turns out. Come to triangle now, facing the front of your mat.
Very nice. Bend the right knee, bring both hands down to the ground. Come up on the back toes, step back to plank. All right, this is the fun part. Come down onto your forearms. You can interlace the fingers if that helps you with your shoulders. I'm actually gonna do that. Let's lift the left foot up off the floor and feel the core engage here. Tailbone lengthens down towards your right heel. Shoulders down the back. And you'll cross the left ankle over the right ankle and keep both elbows on the ground. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Feel the hips lift up. Just like lots of obliques, lots going on in the upper back. Maybe lift the corners of your mouth. Good, and then come back to center, uncross the legs. Okay, from here, you're gonna roll to the outer left foot. Uh, if your fingers are interlaced, release that. We're coming in for side plank on your left forearm. Right arm to the sky. Again, maybe a little smile. Why not? Hips up. Beautiful, right forearm down. Walk the feet in to lift the hips up for dolphin. You could re-interlace the fingers at this point if that feels like a smart idea. Beautiful, walk the feet back out so you're back in that forearm plank. And then lower the hips to the ground so you're in a sphinx pose. Release the tops of the feet. Turn the heels out, toes in. Arms reach back, shoulder blades together. Shalabhasana, lift the legs up. This is one of the best back strengthening poses that there is, in my opinion. Good, one more breath here. All right, hands to the mat, lower the feet, press back, child's pose. Take a moment, <laughs> kind of regroup from that little sequence. This is what I've been into, right? Okay, back to downward dog as you're ready. You know, why not, it's fun. Bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Rise up to stand up, inhale. And palms meet at the heart on the exhale. In fact, if you, if you remember, comment and let me know if you thought that was fun. Because <laughs> we're going to do it on the other side too. Something to look forward to. Let's come to half moon on the left leg. Good, feel the feet flex, core strong, breath smooth. Good, step back to warrior two with the right foot, bend the left knee. And then left leg straight, parallel the feet for a moment. Turn that right foot out to the back of your mat. Bend the right knee, warrior two, to side angle pose. Feel the right hip hug to center.
Come on back up, warrior two. Straighten the right leg, parallel the feet, left foot turns back out, triangle pose. Shoulders slide down the back. Keep those abdominal muscles engaged. Good, and then bend the left knee. Take both hands down to the ground. Come up on the back toes, step to plank. Come down onto your forearms. Maybe interlace again. And then as you're ready, lift the right leg up. Now lengthen the tailbone down toward your left heel. So we want that pelvis aligned, which will help enhance the strength building benefits here. Shoulders slide down the back, breathing. And right ankle over left ankle. Roll to the outer left foot, but keep both forearms on the ground. And face so soft, like you're sitting in a hammock somewhere. You're like, this is the opposite of sitting in a hammock, right? Come back to center. Uncross the ankles. We're gonna release that grip if you've got it and come in for a forearm side plank. Left arm straight up. Beautiful left forearm down. Walk yourself into dolphin. Walk the feet in. Relax your neck. Good, and then walk yourself back out to that forearm plank. So really, it's, it's true though. The goal is to like channel a little Shavasana into everything you do, including this. Just one more breath here. Good, and release the hips. Release the toes. Release the arms straight back behind you. Let's ride this momentum for a moment. One more round of Shalabhasana. Let the energy of the pose lift you. And then bend the knees, catch the feet. So you're in bow now. Feel the pubic bone sink down to ground you. And then feel inner legs engage, upper back engage, toes spread, jaw soft. Go ahead and release. Make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down. Ah, you can let out a humongous sigh. Maybe rock the hips back and forth from side to side. All right, very nice, you guys. Let's come on to your back. Come on to your back, bend your knees. Let's take the hands, interlace behind the back of your head and feel the spine sink down to the ground for a moment. And then lift the feet up. And lift the chest up, spread the toes. And from here, we're gonna reach the arms straight up, interlace all the fingers but the pointer finger. Okay, straighten the left leg and reach 
to the right of your right leg. Reach both shoulder blades up off the floor. Engage the legs. Good, back to center with the knees. And then we'll stretch the right leg straight, twist to the left. Smile, shoulders up. Good, back to center, bend the knees, hug your knees to your chest, lower the shoulders to the ground. That's all. <laughs> you could redo that as many times as you want. I wouldn't do more than like five maybe, but it's up to you, whatever you need. And then we'll stretch the left leg to the floor and grab onto the outside of the right leg. We'll come in for a supine hamstring stretch. Now, if this is like no way, then you can always grab a towel to put around your right foot. And then with your left hand, either grab that towel or grab the outer edge of the right foot. Right arm lowers to the ground next to you and we'll take a twist. Maybe turn your gaze over your right shoulder. You could close your eyes here. Beautiful, you guys come back to center. Hug the right knee to your chest. And then left leg lifts up, right leg to the ground. Grab onto the back of the left leg somewhere. Keep the feet engaged. Feel the shoulders sink down. You can even feel the arms sink into their sockets, into the shoulder sockets. Awesome, you guys. Okay, now from here with your right hand, grab either the towel or the strap or the outer edge of your left foot, left arm to the floor, and we'll take a twist. Maybe turn your gaze over your left shoulder. Beautiful, back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. And release the feet to the floor. Straighten the legs, Shavasana.
When you're ready, bring some attention back into your body. And give your arms and legs a stretch. Bend your knees, roll onto your side, and press yourselves up to whatever comfortable seat you're feeling right now. I'm going to come to Virasana or Vajrasana. And sit yourself up tall with your eyes closed. Feel the palms rest face up. So backs of the hands on the ground, hands, palms face up on your legs. And feel yourself sit upright, strong, open. Please let this practice be something more than vanity. Vanity is just a teeny tiny speck. Open your mind. Now open your heart. to the endless wonder of the universe. Connect the palms together in front of your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, you guys. We're at Home Yoga Studio in Costa Mesa, California. So check this place out if you're ever in the area. Uh, please subscribe to Heart Alchemy if you haven't already. Definitely let us know. Let me know. I'll look at the comments. I always do. Let me know if you like that sequence, that forearm sequence, how you liked it, if you had fun with it. And uh, you can find us also on Instagram and you can find us on Facebook. I adore you guys. We'll see you guys next week. Be well.